While to the outsider it may not look as though the Dallas Police Department has progressed much toward implementation of last September's report from the International Association of Chiefs of Police, city management says they have. To find out how much and where the department is going in the near future, I talked to Assistant City Manager George Schrader. Yes, of course, the most important point of progress was reached when the review of the recommendations of IEC IACP was completed and the uh, program was adopted as a method of raising the level of police performance and the level of police service. And in the intervening time, we've laid preliminary plans for the implementation of the report and some implementation actions taken place. The uh, beginning of the organization of uh, of the four bureaus and the restructuring of the department has been uh, has taken place with the assignment of personnel to lead these four bureaus. We've arranged for space in the building on South Harwood to accommodate the, the restructuring and the, and the, and the uh, altered programming. We are installing a new radio system and of course very shortly the, the, uh, the community service centers will be operation at four points in the city. So the program, the implementation has made good progress and it's gaining momentum. The TCU-Fort Worth partnership began back when the city of Fort Worth was merely a bustling cow town. Two young brothers, home from the Civil War in 1873, began in Granbury, Adran, for Addison and Randolph Clark Male and Female College. In 1895, the school moved to Waco, and in 1902, its name was changed to Texas Christian University. 
In 1910, the main building burned and the campus was moved to Fort Worth, where for the past 58 years, a relationship has been established which is being recognized officially during this TCU Fort Worth week, April 21st through 27th. Located in the southwest section of Fort Worth, the TCU campus is a beauty. 243 tree-shaded, grass-covered, handsome acres which house an average semester enrollment of over 6,000 students from across the United States and 30 foreign countries. Academically, there are eight schools and colleges, Adran College of Arts and Sciences, M.J. Neely School of Business, Schools of Education and Fine Arts, Harris School of Nursing, Graduate School, Bright Divinity College, and Evening College. Offering bachelor's degrees in more than 50 major fields of study, master's in 38 areas, and doctor of philosophy in six fields. More than 55% of its faculty of 308 full-timers hold earned doctorates. The Horned Frog's athletic prowess is nationally recognized. Few realized when the Clark brothers began a frontier college away from the masses, what a relationship that school and its community and the masses each has attracted would have. It is recognition of that happy relationship which underlies this very special week. Bob Gooding from the beautiful TCU campus in Fort Worth for Channel 8 News. We've been able to do only a few studies with patients with other disease, and all of them were doses that were comparatively small. And so far, there is no certain evidence that other tumors will respond to treatment with this enzyme. When the drug first came out, there were a number of problems with side effects. Have these problems been with? Well, I think to a large degree, uh, we feel pretty well uh, in control of the situation with side effects. Uh, with increasing purity, we have found that we can give larger and larger doses with uh, as little or less in the way of side effects. And uh, at the present time, uh, we have achieved a single dose as high as a half million units which someday we may not think is so awfully high either, by the way, uh, without uh, anything other than a little fever, a little chill, something of this sort, so that uh, side effects and toxic effects do not seem to be a bar to further use of the drug, perhaps in even higher dosages.